And the, and the sun is uh, proverbially shining right now. Let's kick off our day with 7 First Alert. Meteorologist Keenan Smith, hopefully he can say the same for our forecast. Uh, you know, proverbially, uh, proverbially, yes, the sun will shine. Actually, it's going to be cloudy uh, throughout the day. Well, you know, something, it's better to be prepared. Right. So, uh, yeah, you're not going to see a lot of sun today. You won't see a lot of showers, but we have some spotty showers outside. And throughout the day, we're going to keep a little bit of light rain in your forecast. And you can see we had some uh, light rain come through during the overnight hours, even a little mixing primarily north of I-69. Stepping outside right now, uh, Belleville, Sumter Township, maybe down to Ida in uh, Monroe County. Some spotty showers moving from west to east headed towards Flat Rock, Newport and Monroe back out to the west there near Blissfield. Uh, some showers there in parts of Lenaway County north of Ann Arbor uh, for Northfield. A couple of showers for you and uh, that's down towards Ann Arbor north there of Plymouth Road and working its way from west to east. So we're going to see these spotty showers around throughout the day, but they're not going to have a huge impact. They'll dampen the roads and that's it. Temps now in the 40s and quite mild. Look at uh, City Airport now. Up to 47 degrees. Troy's at 40 degrees. Temperatures will stay mild throughout the day. Highs today will climb into the 50s. The only problem will keep these low end rain chances around throughout the morning hours, this afternoon, and this evening. That's a look at the drive. Let's get a check of the roads now with Jennifer Ann Wilson. Well, I can tell you all the major freeways are looking really good. No accidents on the major freeways, but we did just have an accident come in confirmed. Telegraph southbound, uh, just south of Nine Mile. Actually, a pedestrian has been struck. This looks like it is, uh, well, it's not looking good at the moment, so you could run into some issues there as police continue to investigate that scene. But a live look outside right now, there's seven first alert traffic camera, and here's what most of the metro looks like. This is the lodge at Evergreen, and as you can see, the pavement is dry. There might be a couple of wet spots, but not a lot. Things are looking pretty good for the most part. I'll be keeping my eyes on those roads, and I'll keep you posted in seven minutes or less. Jennifer, thank you. Breaking overnight, General Motors has sold off its struggling European car business for $2.33 billion. Yeah, the deal was announced early this morning in Paris. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us now live from outside GM's World Headquarters, downtown Detroit with more. Kim, who's the buyer? The buyer is the French conglomerate PSA, and its CEO says this deal is a game changer for the company. This really changes the auto industry in Europe. The sale will make PSA Europe's number two automaker behind Volkswagen. It includes the German brand Opel and the British brand Vauxhall. GM chief Mary Barra said it was a win for both sides. Over the past 16 years, the brands have racked up losses for General Motors of more than $18 billion. The two car makers say they are also facing headwinds because of Brexit and possible trade barriers between Britain and the European Union. It sounds like General Motors just wanted to protect itself from those risks. PSA is now expected to take over 12 manufacturing facilities. The price again, $2.33 billion. Reporting live downtown, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Now, Kim, before you go, will General Motors still be making cars in Europe? It will. It will still have a manufacturing facility, for example, in Italy, but it sounds like General Motors was looking at the numbers and saying, instead of market share, we want to look at profits. And that seems to be what they're doing. Back to you. Yeah. Thanks, Kim. Well, this morning, police are still searching for a missing 24-year-old man who suffers from a mental health condition. Take a good look at the picture of Jalen Knight. He was last seen around 1.30 yesterday afternoon near St. Clair Street and Warren Avenue. That's on Detroit's east side. Now, police say he was wearing a dark blue t-shirt and jeans. If you know where he is, please call Detroit Police. 504 this morning we're waiting to see if a woman from Detroit will be charged after getting into a standoff with police. Now this happened yesterday afternoon on Molina. That's near Van Dyke on the east side. Neighbors say the woman who's in her 50s has caused trouble in the neighborhood for years or for months actually, but she may suffer from a mental condition and she began firing shots. The information that we have at this time is that she was firing at a house across the street. She didn't want nobody parked in front of the house, you know? She don't want nobody parked in front of her house. We got kids and stuff on the street. We plan going to school. Now, when police arrived, she apparently barricaded herself inside her home. They eventually went inside the house and arrested her without any injuries.
Well, the prices at the pump are still on the rise. We just checked in with AAA and Michigan's current statewide average is about 242 per gallon. That's 12 cents more than last week and about 51 cents more than the same time last year. The current average across Metro Detroit is 236 per gallon. That's about 8 cents more than last week and 48 cents more than the same time last year. The highest gas prices can be found in the Grand Rapids, Muskegon, Holland area where it's about 251 a gallon. 506 still ahead, how the U.S. is responding to North Korea after the country fired four banned missiles into the sea. And next, Marines under investigation after nude photos of another military member were being passed around online. The social media site they were using to trade the, pic the pictures. You're watching 7 Action News this morning. Welcome back. Just about 5.09 and we have breaking news just coming in this morning. A person was hit by a vehicle overnight crossing Telegraph Road. This happened shortly before 5 o'clock this morning, just south of Nine Mile in Southfield. And the, these are live pictures from the scene. Right now, the southbound side of Telegraph has been shut down while police officers investigate. But police are not saying if this was a fatal accident or if the driver involved stopped at the scene. But once again, live pictures of a accident pedestrian accident on Telegraph in Southfield. We have a crew on the scene right now.